Hello and welcome to my review of the Space Marine Heroes Collection. Specifically, I'll be reviewing Brother Vaniel, or Vaniel, I'm going to call him Vaniel. Um, he's on the left, but I thought for this introductory um, Space Marine Heroes video collection journey, uh, I thought I'd just show you um, seven out of the possible nine that you can get. And to give you a bit of an introduction, the Space Marine Heroes collection uh, first started out in Japan. It was a Japan exclusive, clearly to raise awareness and to offer uh, Japanese Warhammer 40,000 uh, Space Marine players something unique over there. Their collection consisted of 13 Space Marines. It's just been released in the past couple of weeks in the UK and ours consists of nine. So there are four missing. I think there's a guy running with a knife, um, there's a guy with a heavy bolter, a guy with a flamer, and another um, Space Marine as well. Now I have seven out of the nine. I bought nine, I got seven. I thought that was quite good. I'm missing the Space Marine with the uh, plasma gun and the captain, of course. I'm not sure whether I will buy any more. If I really want those, I'll probably look uh, on another website to try and get them specifically. People always suggest, yeah, super, go on eBay, get, get, get the extras and things. That's okay and easily said, but unfortunately people sell the rare unique models for 40 pound a pop, which is, you know, people say, oh, don't waste your money and buy another, you know, 10 packs or whatever. Well, it's gonna cost the same as if someone is selling the captain for 40 pounds. So you can't really win either way in terms of picking up the captain, you know, for five pounds or whatever. Anyway, enough about that. I thought I'd create a series of videos covering each one of these Space Marines a little bit more in depth. Last weekend, I gave Patreons the opportunity to win um, two of these hero models um, for free. One of the guys has got back to me and said that he lives in Australia, which is great but at the same time, it means it's probably gonna cost me more in shipping than the model itself. However, I'm not sure whether they're available in Australia. I know they're definitely available in the UK at the moment, and um, well, nine out of the 13 at least. So I'll be shipping both of those off to the uh, Patreons soon. Anyway, let's focus on the first one here, which is Brother uh, Vaniel. So the hero comes in a little box like this. There's no way of knowing uh, which uh, hero you get in the box. It's kind of like a blind buy. The reason why it's released in Japan is because this is this kind of stuff is all the rave in Japan. There's collections which you're not really sure what you're going to get and you could get duplicates and then obviously people can sell the duplicates or trade them or it, it's a big thing there. But because uh, there were so many people that wanted it over here in the UK, um, Games Workshop decided to bring it over here as well. So it comes in one of these boxes. Um, this is the little card that you get. I think these icons here are part of the, the game. You can download the, the rules and stuff off, a, off the website or something. There's a little bit of artwork. As you can see, um, he's got kind of like a Mohican going on. Uh, I do have all the heads. What I'll do is I'll just put the light on. A few of these heads look very, very similar. I'd probably say out of everybody, it's him, this guy. Brother Vaniel, if you can see that head. Hopefully you can. Bit of a Mohican going on. So that's Brother Vaniel's head. You don't have to use the helmetless heads. You can use helmeted heads on all of them uh, if you wish. Um, I like Brother Vaniel. Um, he's pretty cool. He's got his um, bolt gun um, on, its, on its strap uh, around his uh, power armor. It must be quite difficult to, to launch that strap out of the join of the, the power armor if he needed to, but still, he's um, uncoupled the grenade from somewhere. I'm presuming it's from the missing mag link there on his uh, grenade harness, I want to call it. And he's about to throw a frag grenade. The frag ones are the, I say the green ones, they're, they're blue because he's blue. And the red ones are the crack. That's what it says in the codexes and all the rest of it. He's also got a pistol there. One thing I like about all of these um, Space Marine Heroes is they're very unique in terms of the backpacks. The backpacks are all different on all of them. They're in very unique poses. I do like Brother Vaniel's pose with, where he's got one leg sort of outstretched and one slightly bent and he really is going to launch this grenade. He'd work really well in a diorama and just theme play as well, like he's hurling that grenade. I mean, uh, all the bases are different too. Of course, he was easy to put together. They all are easy. They're not pushed to fit, um, but they are quite easy to build compared to uh, you know a normal kit of, of Space Marines. They come on these lovely 32mm bases, very scenic looking. 
very unique to the model. So that's uh, Brother Vaniel. Oh, let me just compare him to uh, a Lieutenant and I'll also compare him to a normal Space Marine. Now, this is a normal Space Marine right here. As you can see, Vaniel looks a bit bigger. Um, a fair bit bigger and not just the kind of the fact that he's on uh, a bit of rubble if i put him up to the rubble the the one at the normal specimen on the right he's still smaller he you just can't get away from that so these old space marines are are older are smaller they're not the same size as the the heroes these heroes are the standard um space marine size this is what they should be um I will be spraying mine and uh, using them as size comparisons uh, in, in the near future. This is him next to uh, Primaris Lieutenant, Lieutenant uh, Calcius, as you can see. Um, even if we were to put Calcius sort of on the same level with that rubble, uh, he still doesn't make him look too small. It still works um, in terms of Space Marines and, and Primaris. Look at that. That's not as, as bad as kind of that. No way near. That looks like a completely, well, not a completely different army, but if you see what I mean, it definitely um, works better with uh, these new hero models. So I hope those size comparisons help. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the rules um, for Brother Vaniel. Um, he doesn't have any specific rules, so I'm just going to take them from the Space Marine Codex as if he were a normal Space Marine soldier and part of a squad. So you'll find his rules in the Space Marine Codex. This is something that if you're interested in Space Marines and you want to start up a collection, I strongly recommend you get. I think the Codex is £30. It's quite a lot of money to be fair, but it is over 200 pages and it's well worth the money if you're thinking about collecting them. It's a huge backstory, uh, lots of other units um, if you want to add to your, to your army. Um, you'll essentially find Space Marine rules um, in the troops section of the codex under tactical squad space marine stat line is movement six inches uh, weapon skill ballistic skill both three plus strength and toughness of four one wound one attack leadership seven and a save of three plus um, the unit can contain uh, one space marine sergeant and four space marines um, and it can include uh, up to five additional space marines each model is armed with a bolt gun bolt pistol frag grenades and crack grenades if you ever needed a standard i say standard looking space marine if you ever needed a, a typical loadout this would be it frag and crack grenades bolt gun and then his bolt pistol in his um holster the only thing he's sort of missing is a, is a combat blade his bolt gun is a range of 24 inches rapid fire one strength four and a damage of one uh, frag grenades uh, grenade d6 strength three damage one and crack grenades uh, grenade one strength six AP minus one, damage D3. His bolt pistol is a range 12 inches, pistol one, strength four, damage one weapon. Sergeant may replace his bolt pistol and bolt gun with items from the sergeant equipment list. And if the unit contains less than 10 models, one Space Marine Sergeant may replace his bolt gun with an item from the special weapons or heavy weapons list. And if the unit contains 10 models, then one Space Marine may replace his bolt gun with an item from the special weapons list. And one other Space Marine may replace his bolt gun with an item from the heavy weapons list. So essentially, if you've got less than 10 models, you can have either a special weapon or a heavy weapon. If you've got 10, you can have one of each. The abilities, and they shall know no fear, and combat squads. Before models are deployed at the start of the game, a tactical squad containing 10 models can be split into two units, each containing five models. That's pretty good for objectives if you want to you know, split them about. The faction keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Astartes, and Infantry Tactical Squad. The power points for a tactical squad Space Marine is a power points cost of a 5 or a points cost of 13. I think they used to cost 15 points. So that's pretty decent. You can get a whole squad uh, for, you know, 130 points if you don't have any, you know, extra weapons and things. So that's a standard vanilla Space Marine. And in this particular case, it's uh, Brother Vaniel from the Space Marine Heroes collection. And that's all I really wanted to say about um, Brother Vaniel. I hope you enjoy this series uh, that will be played out to you. I'm going to release the videos if and when I can. I'm trying to release a video every single day at the moment. If you do want to help support the channel and have a chance of winning a model or two every month, then please do consider supporting my Patreon. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.